Hello friends, what's up? Hope you enjoy Android tutorials on multi Android zone. Today I'm going to show you action bar tabs with list fragment. For more tutorials on Android apps, subscribe to multi Android zone. What is action bar? Action bar works as a container and is visible at the top of the screen. By default, action bar shows the application apps on the left followed by the activity title. You can modify or remove the characteristics of the action bar. It contains icons, app option menu, navigation tab and also some cases the action bar may be overlaid by another bar that enables contextual actions using action mode. Now we need to know what is fragments. Fragment class use many way to achieve a wide variety of class. It represents a particular operations or interface that is running within a larger activity. A fragment is closely tied to activity it is in and cannot be used apart from that. Each fragment defines its life cycle that is dependent on the activity. If activity stops, no fragments can be started. If activity is destroyed, then all the fragments also destroyed. All the subclass of the fragment must be include a public empty constructor. Now here is an example of action bar with fragment. This fragment has audio and video fragments and there are several ways to set up tabs with fragments. The easier way is using the action bar tabs but action bar tabs are not supported in Gingerbread so developers use action bar Sarlo. Now let's see how to create action bar tabs with list fragments. Step 1. Create new project, new Android project. Say action bar demo. Tab demo. Next. Select Android 4.0. Android open source project API level 14 then next give your package name com dot tutorial dot action bar tab activity name is main activity then finish <coughs> now I'm gonna browse to rest folder inside the rest folder create a new folder name is drawable and create a new Android XML file inside the drawable folder. The so name is Facebook and create a new Android XML file say youtube.xml Now inside facebook.xml write this code selector write i inside the item tag android state selected true android state 
Android <coughs> state praised false Android drawable copy this page inside drawable HDPI folder drawable <coughs> Facebook selected and item at the rate drivable Facebook unselected and inside youtube.xml copy this code change youtube selected and driver YouTube unselected <coughs> now browse to main activity dot job <coughs> create two tabs for one for Facebook tabs another for YouTube tabs so take action bar class action bar action is equals to get action bar action dot set navigation mode is is action bar dot <coughs> navigation mode tabs action dot set display So title enabled is true. <clears throat> now for Facebook tab 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 equals to action dot new tabs dot set text is facebook dot set tab listener is new 
custom tab listener fragment one this <coughs> text is Facebook and create new class name fragment one dot class create a new class custom tab listener and add constructor in it create a class fragment 1 dot class now dot set icon is our dot driver dot facebook action dot add tab tab similarly copy this code for YouTube tab write YouTube instead of Facebook create a new class say fragment 2 dot class change r dot drivable dot 